everyone, Julie here and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today's video I'm going to go through and show you how to reduce highlights and shine on faces in Lightroom. I've had a couple of people who have requested this one so I finally got round to doing it. Now there's a couple of different ways that you could approach this. Now I had this image that was taken of dancer Alison King in a workshop and as you can see, there's a little bit of shine on her face uh, when you're moving and dancing around and you sometimes need to repowder faces. So it's always good to remember to keep that in camera to get that right. So if you do notice that your model or someone that you're working with is getting a little bit of a shine, maybe ask them to just go and apply a little bit of powder to stop that. But it can't always be done. So there's a couple of things we could do. That Now there are some adaptive portrait presets that you can use in Lightroom. While they can be good, they do tend to mask off different areas, especially if you go into Enhanced Portrait or Glamour Portrait, it will give you different areas of the face. So you've got the skin, the eyes, the teeth, the hair, etc. But it doesn't necessarily go down to the specific areas enough. So if I was to do, say, a Glamour Portrait, just give it a second to create the masks and they are all there so if i was to go to the facial skin and if i click on that to show the overlay it will show you what area is selected that's gone a little bit outside of the skin but if i was to reduce i'll just turn that off for a second if i was to reduce the highlights it's going to reduce it to the whole face which if we bring that quite down and make it quite dramatic, you can see it's not really a re very good look at all. So I'm just going to go back into my history and go back to where I cropped it and we're going to go in and have a little look. So there's a couple of different ways that you could do it. So you can go back into masks again and you can this time go with the brush. I wouldn't go with the people because that's sort of, more global to the person whereas we want to go to specific areas so i'm just going to go brush and what i'm going to do is i'm going to brush over that area now what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce contrast a little bit and reduce the highlights a little bit now you will have to sort of play around with your settings to get what you think works it can be a little bit fiddly, but it can work. It does reduce it a little bit. So that's one way you could do it. And you could work your way around doing it. Another way, and this is kind of, I'm just going to go back in my history panel again. I'm going to get out of masks. And I'm going to go into the remove tool. Now, I could come in with the AI generative and let's just have a little look and see what AI does. And it's selected an area, I'm just going to hit apply. And it has reduced the shine a little and done a little bit of softening. So let's have a look at the before and after. Now you've got a couple of different choices. I'm going to stick with one. So that's our before and after. Not really a big fan of what it did. Another option that you have is going back into the remove tool, but trying one of the others. Now you could either try heal on smaller areas, or you can go into the clone tool, which I think actually works kind of well. So I've dropped my opacity down a little bit and I have my feather up. I've got it to about 87% there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over that area and it's going to grab a selection and I'm going to pull it up to an area that works. So I can drop the opacity down a little bit or I can bring it up depending on what I want to do. I can come through and I can grab this. Now this 
is a little bit fiddly and it does take a little bit of time but on an image it can be quite worthwhile. I'm just sort of going through grabbing areas just making sure and you can turn the visualize spots on and off here so if you're finding that it is getting a little bit annoying and you've got lots of dots you can turn them off or you can set that to auto or always on or whatever i'm just going to go and work my way through and do a little area at a time And if you don't like the suggestion area, grab another one. I'm just going to pull the opacity down a little bit. If you don't like your selection at all, try making your brush a little bit bigger and grabbing another selected area. So let's just have a little before and after. And I'm just going to turn those spots off so you can see what we're doing. So this is reducing the shine on her cheeks and her forehead. I did it really sort of quick and easy. I can come through and do a little bit more on her chin. I love that you can actually come into the before and after and still keep editing. So I can play around with this. I'm going to put that back on auto. That wasn't necessarily the best selection. So I'm going to come back in and do it again. And that's done a slightly better job. So that's it for today's video. So you can reduce highlight and shine on very, very selected targeted areas in Lightroom. Of course, you can do this in other programs. It's probably quite easy to do it in Photoshop. But if you're not comfortable in Photoshop or you don't want to go to that effort, then you can definitely do it in Lightroom. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.